hello everyone and welcome back to my channel today we're going to be making um, Cajun 15 bean soup it comes like this it has 15 different beans and very easy to make and I'm going to open it so you can see it has instructions on how to cook it and everything and it also it brings like a little envelope with some seasoning which is uh, the seasoning it's really good I haven't made it in quite a while I don't remember if it's spicy or not so I'm gonna tell you right now okay, it, it's a lot it brings a lot of seasoning oh it's delicious yes it's a little bit spicy but it has like this sweet taste to it and it's very very spicy but it has like a really sweet taste it tastes a lot like paprika okay it's like an orange color so um, I'm gonna make some of this I want to make some for my mom so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make I'm gonna make it all in the pressure cooker because when I cook beans I always put them in the pressure cooker and then I'm gonna put some onions and some pepper, green pepper, and a, a green pepper, and maybe three, four, four cloves of garlic, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm not gonna put the whole onion, I think I'm gonna put maybe like half of this onion, it's pretty big, and half of the pepper, half of the pepper and four cloves of garlic. So let me chop all that up and then I'll be back. Okay, so I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of, I have canola oil, but it, it really doesn't matter. Uh, just vegetable oil, uh, olive oil, whatever you like to do. Just a little small drizzle in there. onions I already have the onions and the peppers chopped and the garlic I have the garlic here already smashed I use half of the onion I use half of the onions and half of the pepper and four cloves of garlic now we're just waiting for this to heat up so we can throw in there the pepper and the onion. Okay, so here we go. Peppers and onion. I'm gonna saute this for a little bit in here. Okay, so I rinsed the beans, I already rinsed the beans, and I rinsed them like three times, and I put them in there in the pot with a saute onions, peppers, and garlic, and also put a little bit of cumin, and I also put some cumin in there, and now uh, the water, put eight cups of water, Close it up and cook it. I think I'm gonna cook it maybe for about 20 minutes. I don't want them to be too too mushy. We'll we'll check in 50. We'll put it for 15 minutes. Okay. Once it start building the pressure, we'll put the little valve up here. Okay, so this is how they turned out after they finished cooking in the pressure cooker. Uh, let me see how tender they are. I'm gonna try them out. 
just want to try out the beans. Make sure they're tender. Okay, they're pretty tender. It could still go for a little bit longer. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cook them here on the stove. I'm just going to cook them here on the stove. And I do think that they need salt, definitely. So I'm going to do something here. I'm going to pour some out for my mom in a pot, in another pot. So these I'm gonna put some salt. gonna put salt on this one too. Sazon with azafrán. I'm gonna put one of these in hers. I'm not gonna use the whole thing for now. Let's see the color and the seasoning on it. I use the entire envelope with this. Okay. I just use like about half of, of the envelope of the Cajun seasoning on ours. both delicious but they have like different flavor I'm gonna put a little bit more so this one but I'm not gonna put any more of that Cajun seasoning because it is very spicy and this is delicious it has that that seasoning that sazon goya with azafrán, it gives it a, a delicious taste. And it's not spicy, 
the salt uh, maybe you could use a little bit more salt which I'm gonna put a little bit more salt in this one this one is fine now Just beans in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here we are. Okay, we're done. It is complete. The beans are very tender. I left it like about 15 more minutes after the pressure cooker done I left it like 15 more minutes there just cooking I already turned it off and now we're gonna serve it so this is my video on the 15 bean soup I hope you liked it and please don't forget to like and subscribe I also added some cheese on top and it just melted into the soup and it was delicious. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.